Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic CPS. I'm a programmer on the Victolic Tools for Revit projects. And I'm joined today by uh, Jim Gleason. He's a draftsman for Victolic Construction Piping Services. Uh, we're going to talk today about a tool called the Leveler. One of the challenges with working with a shared model uh, between contractors and engineers is that different people will draw different components on different levels. And a lot of times it's your responsibility to fix those levels. Uh, sometimes someone will come back and change which levels things should be associated with. And that becomes quite the challenge when you're dealing with pipe, pipe fittings, pipe accessories, and any family-based products. So Jim's gonna take us through a couple examples of where Victolic's leveler will uh, help out. Uh, this is a very simple basic model just to get our point across. Uh, you can see in this model here we have different floors and each floor is associated to a different level. Now I'll just grab a front view here and uh, just for your own reference we actually have level one then it goes two, three, four, five. You can also see this because all these components here, if I click on this pipe, was drawn on level two and that includes our accessories are drawn on level two, elbow fittings on level two, all right, that was a pipe. Let me grab a fitting here for you, such as a little transition. It's on level two, and that's a pipe fitting. So let's say, for example, uh, all your distribution was on this level two, but then it turns out there's more headroom that's going to be on level three. So we actually want to move all these components up. So, you know, in Revit, moving something up really isn't much of an issue. I can click on those can select them and I can physically move them up to level three. The problem is that on all of your components, because they were drawn on level two, they're still associated to level two. So if you are using tags that are looking for level or uh, you're pulling bills of material and you're grabbing level in a CSV export, uh, all this stuff is obviously reporting incorrectly. You can see this valve is also on level two. So we created the leveler. And what that'll do is literally associate everything I want to a new level without uh, adjusting its position. So just to kind of show you a worse, it, uh, you know, a real world kind of thing, uh, if I move that back down to level two and I just decide to use a filter here and I'll just take my pipes, associating pipes to a new level isn't really a problem because I can just change its reference level to level three, and you notice nothing changed there. However, if I grab everything, move to my filters, and I take my fittings, and I reassociate that level to level three, it goes to error. What it's actually trying to do is keep its offset. So for example, this fitting right here is at five foot six off of level two. If I switch that to level three, it actually tries to jump up to level three and uh, keep the offset of five foot six, which, uh, you know, obviously is an issue. So I'm gonna quickly move this up. There they are. The objects are physically on level three, but they're not showing that way. And then with our Victolic tools for uh, Revit toolbar, I can select on the side our leveler tool and which level do I want to associate it to? I want to associate it to level three. I'll hit OK. All 54 elements that I selected are now associated. And as I click through, you can see a fitting is now level three. An accessory is level three. And pipe as well is on level three, correcting the issue that we would have. So we call this in-house the best tool that doesn't do anything <laughs> because it doesn't really uh, show you what it's doing, but having your references set on pipes and pipe fittings and pipe accessories is crucial if you're going to do some elevation tags or if you're going to do some schedules and you'd like to see what you have on level two versus level three. So this has been a real time saver for us. Uh, the old workflow for this would be to delete the fittings relocate the pipes, reassociate the pipes with the new fitting, new level, excuse me, and uh, then trim everything back together, which could take a whole lot of time. So if you had a whole building of this to do, everything was accidentally drawn on level one, 
Uh, the Victaulic tools for Revit Leveler could really save a whole lot of time. Make sure you check out our other videos for Victaulic tools, and thanks for watching.